Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aquapros. Today, we're gonna to be taking a microscopic look at three different forms of algae commonly found in the aquarium. We're gonna discuss their different morphologies and try and key out some important structures. Let's take a look. We're going to start this video by preparing a slide of some hair algae, which we've cultured over the past few weeks. We place a small drop of water onto a slide, followed by a very small sample of the organism. Then we set the slide onto our compound microscope for viewing. Starting at a magnification of 40x, we observe this organism's large filamentous cell structure that seems to be broken up by a dark differentiated cell type. As we cruise around at a higher magnification, we can get a better view of the various structures inside of each cell. We unfortunately don't have enough resolution to determine what every structure is, but it would be fair to say that all of the small green spheres we see are chloroplasts, which are the structures where photosynthesis takes place. Now let's take a look at some brown hair-like algae found on the bottom of an aquarium. Right away we notice a big morphological difference. This organism is segmented like the previous one, but its cells are much smaller. Looking closer at this organism, we can clearly see what appear to be nuclei. We also notice that there are other eukaryotic organisms which seem to be adhered to the algae, using it as a type of anchor as they filter feed off the water passing by them. Last, let's take a look at some bright green algae growing in small tufts on the glass of an aquarium. This algae really does look like a small ball of hair. Its long strands of filamentous cells spread out into the environment and flow with the moving water. This action is clearly a strategy this organism adapted in order to be constantly exposed to the nutrients in the water column. Taking a closer look, we can see the structures inside of the cell, most likely being nuclei and chloroplasts. To learn more about the microbiology taking place in your aquarium, as well as different strategies to prevent and eliminate the growth of algae, check out more of our aquarium science videos.